goddamn mines. You idiots are gonna pay for shooting up my... What the hell? Motherfucker. Now, from what I can tell, this game, Jupiter Hell, seems to be like chess with shotguns. At least that's how they refer to it on their Steam store page. I, I guess that means like Doom, for example. I already get Doom vibes anyway. Taking a look at the uh, demonic uh, background there of the uh, wonderful little spinning symbol. <laughs> Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Jupiter Hell. This game already has very positive reviews and is in early access. From what I understand, it's also releasing soon on Steam. So it's a game that... Uh, by the time you see this video is new in terms of early access and could be new in terms of fully released as well So hopefully that's uh, gonna be something that's good. Uh, the game also kind of has this um, 1995 monitor feel to it too. So don't adjust your screen. It, it's supposed to look like that. Trust me We'll start ourselves a new game here see what the tutorial is like as it's kind of a mandatory thing to learn And then we'll uh, see how the game is in in general Looks cool, though. I already like the music and stuff for it, and the uh, intro trailer looks interesting. So, without further ado, I just want to say thank you very much, everybody, for helping us to get up to 1 million subscribers. We're almost there. We're knocking on the door. So thanks again for subbing. 60% of the people who watch do not sub, and uh, but they watch more than once. So make sure you uh, go ahead and subscribe, and uh, not, don't miss out on any new future games and or giveaways that we may have always on the Discord, too. For example, uh, <clears throat> sorry, Chernobylite is recently a game that we gave away on our Discord, and was fantastic as well. So many more games to enjoy on the channel and many more coming soon. I hope you're having a fantastic day as well and I will see you in hell. Jupiter hell. <laughs> Let's go. All right. As this is your first time playing Jupiter hell, we'll guide you through a short tutorial. This will take only a couple of minutes and we'll introduce the turn-based, grid-based nature of the game controls and a perimeter of basic strategy. Oh, premiere? Premiere of basic strategy. Okay. Let's go. Welcome to Jupiter Hell. This is a turn-based, grid-based, <laughs> permadeath dungeon crawling game, a classic roguelike. The focus in this game, however, is on the ranged combat. We'll walk you through an introductory level, and then you can jump right in. Be aware that this is only a, a keyboard for gamepad only game, so put away the mouse. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Okay. I like how they're being ballsy with that. Also, uh, from what I understand is that r there was a game called Rogue long ago, and so anytime they refer to roguelike, they're actually referring to a game, and I didn't know this, I hear the term all the time. Uh, from what I understand, it's a game from, like, like text-based adventures from long ago, and it also had, like, uh, dungeons to it, too. Maybe it wasn't fully text-based, but you know what I mean. There wasn't really graphics. It was like they formed... Um, maps on the screen by literally using what you see here, like the border around the text. Okay, let's go. In, press down arrow on the D-pad to move down. Uh, follow the highlighted squares using the arrow or D-pad. Oh, I see, okay. Uh, branch, depth, mini-map. Uh, note the mini-map and level name in the top left corner. So we're on tutorial, east, south, six, six, six. Minimap? Okay. Uh, your character stats are in the bottom left. 
So we got our name. Uh, Mark Taggart, he's a Marine. Health, Fury, current health, class, status effects, okay. Uh oh, we got an enemy coming. Enemy spotted. His stats appear in the top right. Take special note of your chance uh, you have to hit him. However, Jupiter Hell is a game of tactical positioning. Move right so that you can lean from around the corner. Okay. Uh, follow the highlights. Oh, wow, he shot us first. Damn. Uh, am I behind cover? Now you're behind cover. Note that there's a green indicator to the right of your character, signifying that fact. Green is your cover. Red, if present, is enemy cover. Both appear only if an enemy is targeted. Now, you can shoot him. Press F to shoot the currently targeted enemy. Oh, it looks like targeting is automatic, so that's good. Okay. Uh, if you can see him, you can shoot him. Press F to fire. Oh, we actually lean from around the corner. Sweet. Uh, you fire your current weapon at the currently selected range. See reticle around enemy. Press F to fire again. Oh, he's down, baby. Use two bullets. Better reload. Press R. Good to reload after every engagement. He dropped some stuff. Pistol and some ammo. Move to pick it up. Uh, press, a, a press to pick up items with G. Now let's see that pistol. Uh, before you can pick it up, you can get a free peek. Hold shift to compare the item on the ground with the one that's held. Seems it's the same. Uh, oh, yellow is the same class. Okay. So you can see it's called the 9mm pistol. That's cool. I, I do like how the screen kind of bends like that. That's neat. I do like that. Kind of disoriented, but I like it. Uh, move towards the door with the icon above it. You can interact with stuff by bumping into it. A medical supply box. You can bump into it as well. Nice. Med kits. Go pick one up. Press G to pick it up. Good. Items such as med kits are not used instantly, but stored in inventory. Use it now. Enter inventory with I and select the med kit and press enter. That ain't the spot. Oh, yeah. Nice. Let's go to the next room. It would be nice if we could pick up that other guy's gun and get ammo from it. This guy has a shotgun. Fire at him so we can relieve him of it. Remember, the direct... Uh, the direction you and they are facing doesn't matter. <clears throat> wow. That shot really hurt. If you look at your status bar at the bottom, you can see that you have significant pain modifier. It directly affects your chance to hit. Oh, boy. Uh, luckily, you're a Marine, and you have an active skill that can help. Adrenaline can be used as long as you have enough fury, and it heals you a bit and converts a portion of any pain value to health. Also, using the skill doesn't take time, so you can safely use it in the middle of combat. The Marine regains his class uh, resource by killing enemies. A press 5 is indicated near the skill to activate it. Much better. Now you can finish him off. Get wrecked. Uh, note the pain removing effect of adrenaline stays for a couple of turns. Go pick up the shotgun. Uh oh. There are enemies here, but the shotgun will help. Notice that by holding shift while standing on a weapon, you can compare its stats to what you have currently in hand. Press up a pickup G. Got a 12 gauge shotgun. Apparently, this does slash damage. Oh, that's weird. I call shotgun. <laughs> Damn it, it's empty. You need to pick up the shells. Now reload it with R. Fire. Wow, damn, that killed two dudes. That's massive. Now that was satisfying. Shotguns deal area damage so you can get multiple kills with a single shot. Don't forget to reload after each shot, though. Oh, it's a one and done. I see. The shotgun is nice, but let's switch to the pistol again. You can carry up to three weapons as seen in the bar at the bottom right. Press 1 to switch back to the pistol. You're hurt. Luckily, Marines start with an extra med kit, so you still have one. Use it now. Enter the inventory and press I and select the med kit. <sighs> That's better. Let's go to the next room. Oh, you don't want to pick up their ammo? Okay. Oh, boy. Move in and take a better look. Now, here's an idea. Why not blow up those explosive barrels? To do so, you need to get manual targeting. Press T. Move the target to the barrels and press T again. 
Oh, damn. Boom. The barrels do more damage than a pistol shot, so it's worth it using your environment. Let's continue to the next room. Now, one thing I've noticed, too, is that this game does use a controller. They, you can use one, as they mentioned, with the D-pad. And it also uh, has, for, like, not force feedback, but vibration. Or what, whatever they technically call that now. Tutorial. You don't seem to have a sure shot on this ugly guy. You're behind cover, so you can try to wait and see what's up. Uh, what he's up to. Press W to wait. He didn't move closer, but things are good. Notice two buffs you received. Hunker, which further decreases your chance to be hit behind cover, and possibly the reason he missed. And aim, which you receive by waiting while having the enemy targeted, which increased the odds to significantly... The significantly so fire. Press F. Okay. <laughs> After shooting, your buffs are gone. Since both of them apply to only one turn, you can increase their values further by subsequent waiting, but he's almost dead. Try to finish him off. Fire with F. Oh, get wrecked. Another one down. Seems like there's a grenade on the floor. Let's check it out. Let's do just that. Uh-oh. Someone spotted you grabbing your sweet loot. <laughs> no worries. You can use items directly from the ground by holding shift and pressing G. Oh, dude, that's cool. How about sending one his way? Use the grenade from the ground and press F to throw it at him. Okay. So hold. Hold shift and press G. And then press F to throw. Got him. Wow, that's really cool that we can use that in the same turn. So long as we're standing on it. No need to equip and target and throw. That's cool. Wow. Wasn't that beautiful. Uh, the area seems to be clear. Move towards the elevator. For the sake of introducing you to the equipment screen, why don't you leave your shotgun here? Enter the inventory screen and press I and use the arrows to navigate between panels. Once you find the equipment panel, highlight the shotgun and press D to drop. Uh, press D to drop. Oh, I see. So we want to drop the shotgun. Oh, there's also... Uh, body, head, utility, and relic. Okay. All right, we dropped it. Good work. Head towards the elevators. Finish the tutorial. Oh, boy. Elevator to Callisto L2. Congratulations on finishing the tutorial. Now you can start a new game and see how you fare in real combat. Just remember, this game is turn-based. No need to rush anything. Basing doesn't matter, neither for you nor the enemies. Movement is only a four-direction. Diagonal movement is only side effect of the animation system and is two moves consecutively. You will level up and gain traits. Pick a master trait at the bottom and work towards getting it as soon as possible. Try to keep behind cover. Note the enemy cover in red. If they're still in cover, it's best to break the line of sight and make them pursue you. Okay. All right. Well, welcome to Jupiter Hell. Let's do it. Uh, regular game tutorial challenge mode. Trial preset seed game. Interesting. Let's do a regular. And we'll start on, oh, wow. Ultra violence and nightmare. Oh, boy. And they won't even let you play until you've got Lance Corporal or Corporal. Okay. Well, let's just start with easy to see how far we can get experience the world and whatnot. Recommended for players with no turn-based roguelike experience. Well, that's not me, but... I want to see more of the game and walk around and check out the maps and stuff. So we can choose three classes, Marine, Scout, and Technician. So there's the differences between them. I think we'll go with the uh, Marine then. Marines are the backbone of Jovisek, Resilient, and Hardy. Uh, resource, Passive, Active, and Gear. They start with a small med kit. Yeah, let's go with Marines. Enter name. We'll go with I don't like the looks of this. You come back from a routine patrol of the Callisto orbit. Your landing craft gets shot down by automated defense system. Something is wrong. Oh, wow. I wonder, are the green barrels just as explosive as the red ones? Uh oh. I can hear creatures. Uh oh. Press F to fire, or T to target manually. Uh, 
If I hit those barrels, they ain't gonna, ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, the music is good. Oh, damn. <laughs> Ooh, that hurt a little bit. Press G to get an item from the floor. There's a knife here. I wonder if we can throw the knife. Is that what this is? Yeah, a combat knife. Does a lot of melee damage. Uh-oh. Guys are coming from all distances. Let's wait for him to come to us. We're hunkering down. There we go. Nice, get wrecked. Alright, grab that item there. Hopefully it's more ammo. Got gun shells, nice. And Shred them to pieces. Hey man, brother. Let's reload the pistol. Uh oh, we got a drone. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. We got him. He's down. Wow, it's cool. Enemies will constantly be moving towards you. It definitely feels like a top down doom for sure. What is that thing? Oh, it's an actual chest. Nice. Didn't look like the one from before. Uh, what is this? A red key card. All right. Uh oh. This guy's in cover. Wonder if I can use these boxes down here to the left? Let's get against the wall. Nice. Damn right with that shotgun. I'm trying to move to cover. Just in case there's more down the hallway. Kind of cool how this is turn-based in, in terms of like every time that you move, it's a turn. So it's, it doesn't really feel like it. We could just take the elevator, but I'm going to look around and see where that red key card may have gone. Where it leads to. Maybe this box here. Oh. This is a health box. Nice. Uh, search for the elevator to go to the next level. Yes. But I would like to search for enemy faces to shoot. Uh, more ammo, damn. Yeah, we should probably grab everything. Uh-oh. <sighs> Seems I got them all. You, adv you advance to level two. Press enter to continue. Uh, oh. Yeah, we leveled up. Okay. Hmm. Passive skill uh, improves your class uh, traits. Increase hit points by 20. Fury Capacity, Dodge. Hmm. 10% critical chance plus one distance for the handgun. I think we go with that one. Alright, now I think all the enemies here are dead, so we're able to leisurely look around. And grab all the stuff we want. Okay, I don't see any more doors, so... And all the weapons seem same. Everything that's yellow is the same as what we've currently got. From what I understand. Well, this one actually holds more... Well, it's... One of them actually shot, so we would have to reload that, so... Okay, let's check guns. Alright, we're good. Let's go! Well, we didn't die to death yet, so that's good. Good luck, you're on your own now. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, thanks. Let's get some dot, dot, dots down below in the comment section if you've watched this far. Would definitely appreciate some unnecessary ellipses. Jeez. <laughs> Former soldier. Oh, have some of these guys, like, turned? Oh, wait, I can shoot that guy. That's not a wall. That's actually an open space. Or is it? I, I can't tell if that's just, like, a catwalk with the... Like a hole, or if that's actually like a wall? I think it's a, a hole. I'm going to cover, though. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. More enemies coming. Dodge this, motherfuckers. Wow. 
Okay, now we've got a 9mm auto rifle. That guy's in cover. Not anymore, he's not. Damn, he got destroyed. Uh oh. Oh, this auto rifle is perfect. Now we're playing on easy, but. I feel like after a, a run through and dying on easy, the next best thing to do will be to uh, try medium and just keep working our dip way up the difficulties. Uh oh. A drone. <laughs> Dude, everybody wants to walk out in front of us. Damn. We're still good on health. I can see a light moving. Oh, he's gonna come up behind us. Damn, dude, we're out of ammo. Reload! Wait, I can't change, uh... Oh, this is the... I press T instead of the reload button. There we go. Good job, Chief. I like what they've done here. This is really... Is this guy gonna come over? Oh, come on. Damn, get wrecked. Dude, everybody's trying to rush me. Yeah, this is a really cool concept. I was recently playing uh, The Ascent, and so this is like an alternative version of that where it's like, hey, uh, what if we changed it where it's like Doom, but also, you know, different in many ways. Okay, we've got ourselves a AV-1 pistol. Critical damage plus 50%. This seems to be the same. It looks like it has a different color. Oh, uh, current pistol is able to be modded up to four times. Swap time seems to be the same range. Seems to be the same, just different. All right, let's keep grabbing ammo. The music is great. I'm, I'm just getting good feels of, like, uh, Doom meets Diablo meets, like, chess. Although it's... I don't really see the chess Mama thing, but I do. Me to use protection. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Now we gotta get to the equipment screen. Oh, I forgot how to get to the equipment screen. Uh-oh. There's nothing to act upon here. Oh, spacebar for actions. Okay. All right, let's see. I wonder if we need to equip this stuff or if it's automatic. Let's keep looking around, though. Okay, E is the equipment screen. Oh, yeah, it's automatic. Okay. Well, that's good. Wow, everyone got wrecked. Uh oh. That was an alien. We better go slow, because it looks like those guys have some sort of a ranged melee attack. Hey, what is this thing? Jovisec Hello System. <laughs> Copyright 1994 to 2122. Oh, wow. They've been using the same tech since 94. Wow. Access security, unlock vault, access recon, access messages. Uh, let's see. A no long-awaited future. Hello, colleagues. Our sector in um, Mimir Habitat L2 has been finally equipped with an emergency decontamination procedure. All staff can initiate them via local terminal and can... Expect a fun ride with eliminating aggressive assets. P.S. Make sure you bring a gas mask of your own. Okay, more emails here. Let's see. Access security. Security drones are hostile. Let's deactivate them. Oh, we need multi-tools for this. Okay, so that explains what the technician can do is uh, use multi-tools to get extra perks of disabling uh, security or manipulating the system somehow. 
Unlock Vault. Access Recon. Oh, okay, so we can see what different levels are. So we're in the habitat right now. There's also the rift, the mines, and the barracks. Oh boy, the barracks are gonna be hell. Do we access security? Yep. Okay. Well, let's go around and find some more bad guys to kill. Oh, there we go. Uh, we better get the hell to, uh, to cover. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh, we better switch to shotgun. Nope, handgun. There we go. Love how we can take cover and lean like that. That's really cool. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. Uh oh, we're taking fire damage now. Anybody else? Yep. Watering the grass. <laughs> Alright, we got everything. In that room, at least. There was a lot of guys in there. They just kept coming. Ah, looks like we have an upgrade system. Uh, repair armor, create mod packs, dismantle items, auto calibrate weapon, extract multi tool. Hmm. Charge multi tool. So it looks like we can pick three things, or uh, things that total up to three. So we can auto calibrate a weapon on our. Let's do the auto rifle. And then let's go ahead and let's see. We could repair armor. I don't know how damaged it is though, so let's do. Uh, well, we can create a mod pack for free. Oh no, that takes two. Bulk accuracy or power. Create an accuracy mod pack for future use. Oh, is that a one-time use thing? Not sure. Let's go ahead and. Uh, yeah, let's create an accuracy power pack. And we're all done here. So this is the technical station. Cool. So the tech has uh, got a lot of cool stuff to use, too. You just got to find it. So you just got to not die to death. Okay, rifle needs repair or rearm. Same with the handgun. Good. Getting used to this is just awesome. I really like this. Music is wonderful. The atmosphere is pretty cool. The zoom out is a little far, but I get what they're going for because you can actually see a lot more, so you can make your decisions more tactically. Love the bodies, too. That's cool. Okay, everything's looking good so far. There's our elevator. But it seems like a, the best idea to look around before you leave. And these all seem to be procedurally generated, too, these, these maps. Although this one looks pretty, um, in the upper left corner, it looks pretty uh, linear. But maybe the compute the AI is instructed to, you know, make four areas, but randomize w what's put in that area. Uh, wait. Grab that. There's nothing here. And the red key card. Now, last time we grabbed a red key card, it didn't really open anything because I didn't. I don't think I found something to use it, so... Are all these guys dead? I feel like somebody's still alive. Oh, Habitat L1. Okay. So we can choose where we go, and we know what they are. One's yellow and one's green. Yeah, everybody must be dead. Okay. Well, let's head out of here. We're going to go green. There we go. Yeah, I don't think we've been here before, have we? 
Oh, I can hear trouble. Amen. All right, we can upgrade again. Ooh, sustained fire. Best solution is to pump stuff with lead. Each consecutive series you shoot with SMGs, rotary weapons, and automatic gains plus one damage per bonus per shot. Oh, that's good. All right, let's go with that. Man, everybody's getting wrecked. Even you, sir, are dead to death. That guy dead to death. Nice. Damn, everyone's getting slaughtered. It is easy, but again, I'd like to think it's my sheer genius in military planning. Or it's uneasy, you can decide. <laughs> but it's good to learn. I mean, like, this is nice to actually see and to, to do a first I don't run. I see anything. Kind of getting, like, um, the feel for stuff. It's good. Okay, we got another enemy here. Nice. He's got a different weapon, I think. Oh no, we have a 9mm auto rifle with auto calibrating. He has a 9mm SMG. We could exchange this for the pistol. Uh oh. Every time you do something, too, by the way, it changes. Uh oh. Let's, let's give this weapon a try. Oh, damn. That's also a 9mm. <laughs> Sir! Oh, I can hear enemies behind me. Go fucking ammo! Reload! <laughs> Wanted to see what would happen if we tried to shoot without it. And yes, indeed, there is a good voice. I love it. Uh, yes. Reload. Target him, but reload. So I like how when we pick the weapon up too, it tells you how many times it can shoot based on the fact that he, it's a twenty-round magazine, and he fires five at a time. So carry it too much shit. According to the math, oh man. Floor is empty. You only carry so much. Good. Okay, no enemies coming around. Hi there. Okay, let's... Ooh, that's a new rifle. Let's switch back to our auto rifle here. Stay put for a minute. What is this? 44 hunter rifle. Ooh. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this now, just for purposes of trying everything out. Let's grab this now. Now we gotta start finding 44 rounds. So we have nine millimeter shotgun and a 44. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, a pack's full. Oh, no room in the inventory for that. Okay. Yeah, we could drop something. Let's see. Wow, look at all that 9mm ammo we've got. Let's drop this. And we'll go back and grab this. We also have our adrenaline as a marine. I always forget about that, but, you know, since we're in easy, it's like constant adrenaline. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's a lot of boys. Let's try out the 44. <laughs> wow, he's done. <laughs> wow, everyone got wrecked with that. That was the hunter rifle. Oh, this reloads one at a time. It's so powerful. So it's a... Uh, no room in inventory. Yeah, there's no way to reload this thing. 
uh, via clips or magazines or boxes. It's one at a time. I like how it also shows your vision in the upper left corner by changing things to orange. They've done a fantastic job with this. I actually can't stop playing. I, I'm actually kind of out of time, and I have some other stuff to do. <laughs> I actually need to go do something right now, but I'm actually... Uh, and stay down. I'm going to put that on hold because I'm enjoying this. All right, uh, let's do security, recon. Oh, reveal map. Oh, that's cool. Let's try that out. Let's see how that looks. Access messages. Let's see. Don't forget to click or tap subscribe. Turn on notification bell. Click or tap like to support the channel. Become a member today for giveaways on the Discord. All, right, yeah, all junk emails. Okay. Let's leave. So now the map is revealed, but it doesn't show where enemies are, but it does show where we would want to go. Points of interest, that type of thing. Storage closet there. I forget exactly where we came from. I think it's the blue section on the right. Was it over here? Oh, no. This is where we want to go next. All right. Well, there you go, folks. That is it for our episode of Jupiter Hell. Quite promising, actually. I, uh, this is much more polished and put together and atmospheric. I think when developers put in all these extra details of, like, voice acting and, you know, like, we have our CRT monitor, you know, like, screen that's curved like th they were in the 90s with all these... Um, little bloops and blops and polishing and, and little additions it means that they're confident with the base gameplay and I'm pretty confident or confident that this is going to be quite a ex good experience I, I see the release date of this was uh, August 1st 2019 so it's been out a couple of years and it has very positive reviews on Steam though not many but it's because uh, not so many people I think are interested in turn base although this doesn't feel like turn base it kind of just feels like turn base where there's like a, a, a soft pause, like a semi-active pause, where it's like, oh crap, an enemy, what should I do? Oh, I'm going to go here, cover, and then start shooting. So it's like, okay, it gives you a second to think beforehand, which is kind of cool because, yeah, it is a little bit like chess, where it's like, if you got to reload, well, it's a it actually counts as like an action, which is kind of cool, which, yeah, in Call of Duty, if you're going to shoot somebody and you're on ammo, yeah, it's going to take you a split second to reload, but, you know, every gun's different. But here... It's just based on, like, a turn, like, one second. Everything takes one second. So, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Have a great day. And just, again, thanks for all the support. I'll see you guys soon.